वेलकम बैक स्टूडेंट्स इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी डिड डेफिनेशन ऑफ एल पी स्पेस एंड एल पी स्पेस इज ऑल्सो नॉन एज क्लासिकल बनाक स्पेस ऑल राइट सो डोंट कन्फ्यूज वेदर एल पी स्पेस इज क्लासिकल बनाक स्पेस और नॉट क्लासिकल बनाक स्पेस इज ऑल्सो एल पी स्पेस और एल पी स्पेस इज ऑल्सो नॉन एज क्लासिकल बनाक स्पेस ऑल राइट Now we will do holders inequality for LP space. This inequality is particularly for LP space. All right. So, uh, what is the use of holders inequality when we show that LP space is a non-linear space? In that triangle inequality property, we are uh, going that uh, to prove that property with the help of holders inequality. All right. So, what is this inequality? If p is greater than one. and p and q are non negative numbers such that this property holds and if f uh, measurable function g measurable function belongs to lp and lq space then product of fg will belong to l1 space and this inequality is less than equal to this that is if you take if you put in integration form then what will be the value of this function the value of this function is this and this function is this see here p denotes space from which space this function is belonging so f belongs to lp space and g belongs to lq space all right now uh, let's proceed for proof uh for the proof of holders inequality for lp space we are going to use lemma 2 all right i'll mention the statement of lemma 2 firstly f case 1 if f equals to 0 or g equals to 0 almost everywhere in case of measurable function we will use this almost everywhere term all right i am not going to define this term here i am considering that you know very well about this almost everywhere term all right so almost everywhere this imply f of g equals to 0 almost everywhere and what does this mean this mean integration over fg is also 0 and this inequality holds all right there is nothing to show about this so we are taking let us suppose and f this is greater than 0 and this is also greater than 0 since this can't be negative because there is a norm all right denominator in p and q denote that this will belongs to which space but this is norm so that's why it can never be less than 0 and we are taking that this is positive this is neither zero nor less than zero now i am going to write the statement of lemma 2 first what is the statement of lemma 2 there is a scalar lambda less than 1 all right alpha and beta are non negative real numbers then what we have we have alpha to the power lambda beta to the power 1 minus lambda is less than equal to what lambda alpha plus 1 minus lambda beta and here the relation between p and q is also same all right now with the help of this lemma we will prove our inequality all right firstly i am writing some substitutions what is substitution for alpha here what is for beta and what is for lambda after putting that substitution in this equation we will just do integration and after integrating you will find out your result all right so let's begin the substitution is for alpha equals to what i am i will write divide by norm of f this raised to the power p all right uh, this is small p actually Uh, in this, all right. Uh, this is substitution for alpha and substitution for beta is g t over q raised to the power q g. This is f of t here actually. G over q whole to the power q. All right. 
and substitution for lambda is put lambda equals to 1 by p. So this is your star put all these values in star what you will get is alpha to the power lambda and what is lambda lambda is 1 by p so f t divide by p raised to the power p and raised to the power 1 by p all right for beta uh, g of t raised to the uh, weight norm of g over space q raised to the power q and here is look 1 minus lambda this imply 1 minus 1 by p what is this this equals to 1 by q you have this relation here if you take 1 by p on this side what you will get 1 by q equals to 1 minus 1 by p so i have put value of 1 by uh, 1 minus 1 by p here and that value is 1 by q less than equal to lambda alpha what is alpha alpha is this lambda alpha so lambda is 1 by p f to the power p divided by this p is for which space and this p is for power all right 1 minus 1 uh, 1 minus 1 by p is 1 by q so i am writing directly here 1 by q and what is the value of beta value of beta is this so g of t uh, i am raising this g of t raised to the power q divided by g of thus all right now look at this point what you will get p into 1 by p this will cancel each other so i am erasing this from here okay in the same way q into 1 by q this will also cancel each other this is your inequality now what i will do is i as i told you that x y is equals to mod of x into mod of y all right and i also told you that norm is a constant quantity so i will integrate this portion integrating we get see what i will do i will combine this and this f of g all right integrating this what about the denominator terms these two are constants so these uh, constants can be taken outside from the integration so norm of f over p into norm of g over q this is your left hand side what about right hand side right hand side is 1 by p 1 by p integration of Denom uh, denominator is also a constant so take out this so what is this f of p raised to the power p into integration of f t to the power p or you can write integration of f to the power p because t is just a dummy variable here plus same for 1 by q integration mod of g raised to the power q divided by norm of g over q now look uh, the value of c this is equals to this Hana? this is equals to this so what can i write here look listen if this is equals to this what can i write i can write look very carefully here see norm of f over p is equals to integration f p and raised to the power 1 by p if i take p power on both sides if i take p power on both sides then left hand side will become like this and from right hand side this will be erased Hana? so what is this this is this and same for function g so this is equals to so can i directly change here 
yes i can change here so this is equals to what is numerator your numerator is norm of f of p over p this is equals to this same for this function all right here is q1 power also g q over q so i can cancel these two yes i can cancel so from here what i will get 1 by p plus 1 by q equals to 1 according to our given relation so from here i'll put this on left hand side and take this on right hand side this is less than inequality here so this is continuous here so this is f over p into g over q look this is your required inequality all right so by the help of lemma 2 that we did in previous videos we prove the holders inequality for lp space and uh, in next video we will proceed for minkowski inequality particularly for lp space all right and after that we will show lp space is non-linear space